you have to be immersed in Alberta politics to understand this, because I think from the outside of Alberta, it's hard to understand what's unfolding in the province. I think it, it, the to supplement what uh, Mark said, a lot of it was poll driven because the um, in the sort of the peak of the pandemic, the NDP opened up quite a substantial poll lead over the UCP. It's gone now. They're statistically tied, but it was in the order of 10, 12, 13, 14 percent at one point. Now that was um, partly disillusioned with Kenny from the left going to the NDP, but it was also, and I think this is a critical part, disillusioned with Kenny from the right that was going to um, the Wild Rose Independence Party. And that that um, opened up the space for a sort of a, and this is hard once again for people from the outside because Jason Kenney's um, uh, profile outside of Alberta is of an extremely conservative right-wing politician, but actually the crisis inside the UCP is a crisis from the right. It's, 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 he, he was, he made himself vulnerable on the right of the, of the UCP by um, loss of support to the NDP, loss of support to, to uh, the Wild Rose, and being perceived as being complicit, quote unquote, with uh, penned public health measures. I mean, I, I I struggle to find the words to express this because public health used to be not a very political issue. It became highly politicized in the pandemic and became kind of the um, touchstone for people on the right of the political spectrum to say we're against the tyranny of public health measures. Um, so that combination of things and Mark's point about the price of oil, this was all prior to the price of oil skyrocketing. So like it, 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 it the tanking of the price of oil sort of in the peak of the pandemic made it a, per, a perfect storm for his, he, he won the, he won the uh, leadership approval thing, but by 51.4 percent, it's not enough, not enough and he had to leave. So I think that's the background that we have to look at. Mm -hmm.